Hey everyone, this is Mother from Technician Studios here for another video. So, let's jump right inside. So, today's video is based upon how to render properly in Premiere Pro. So, Premiere Pro is the main program that I use for editing of my videos. So, let's jump right in. So, here's uh, Premiere Pro in which I have added my outro track or intro track which I basically use and like, this was created in After Effects and so like I it was um, in 720p and now I want to convert it in 1080p so I have saved it like in 1080p and now I will render it so there are two basic ways to render one is to press, press control plus M which will open up media like exporting and other is to like go to file export and then media so they're basically the same thing but like a uh, control plus m is the shortcut for that so one thing like if you want to render it same like with same compression ratio as the original uh, footage you can uh, click match sequence settings it will like my video was in mp4 and now it would be also like sequence 1.mp4 which is showing as mpeg so like I don't want that to be done cause I'm saving it in uh, 1080p from 720p so format I would recommend to use windows media if you want very small files uh, more compression or um, if you don't have to worry about that compression ratio you can choose quicktime both of them as are very good so let's choose quicktime for this time and you should select like whichever you want like 1080i HD 29.97 frames per second H.264 AAC 48 kilohertz so this stands for HD 1080i 29.97 frames per second um, the uh, codec used would be H.26R and the uh, file format would be AAC so you can choose this if you want and also if you want to do it in 720p which almost all of my videos I use is uh, you can select this one so let's choose this one for our sake of time for this time and you have to take the export or video and export audio also so you can change your uh, video codec from here but h.26r is uh, real nice you can use that so you should uh, like quality should be 100 width and height you can change upon your, uh, yourself then um, this is basically editing this uh, preset you can use your presets or create your own preset by going here down so frame rate you can choose to a 60 or like if you want a lot then you I'll, mm, uh, normally 30 is enough and free frame every uh, this is not requ required bit rate you can exceed to how much you want like uh, 24 kilohertz as it was uh, there so that's for the video and audio you should use like AAC or if you are using Windows Media like I'll show you that also yeah then you should uh, use this one Windows Media Audio 10 Professional and yeah all these things would be taken care of and you need to take care of one thing that you use video codec uh, Windows uh, Media Video 9 Advanced Profile uh, the uh, width and height depends on you and where's that mm -hmm. yeah so there's no quality in this so it would be rendered at high quality and then you can just queue it or export it so you can see estimated file size in WMV or Windows Media uh, is 11 MB and let's go to QuickTime it's 13 MB so they both are very small files you can use them and they're very good for uploading onto YouTube or some other, some other stuff so you can click on export it will immediately render it out so thanks for watching and stay tuned in Technicia Studios for more videos, tutorials and stuff. Thank you.